What is up everybody, this is Verdict, thank you so much for stopping by. Now before we start, of course, the Creator Code event is soon to expire mid-August, so please make use of the limited time to support this channel when purchasing the A-Coins from the NA slash EU website for the client exclusively. I do take a cut out of these, so it's the best way to support the channel. But today's video will be one that I never thought I would make, uh, really, because... See, this channel is all about Mystic, guys. If you don't know who I am, my name is Verdict. I do this full-time thing here where I teach people Mystic. We talk about the class a lot. We meddle with other classes. We draw comparisons, this and that. But overall, this channel is a Mystic channel. And I myself am widely regarded as one of the most famous Mystics out there. And trust me, I don't tread lightly saying this. I understand the responsibility behind it. One way or another, it, it falls onto my shoulders and other content creators to kind of voice our frustrations with the classes so that changes will occur. So in today's video, what I really want to talk about is a Succession Mystic. Obviously, as the title suggests, Succession Mystic is really lacking. Suck Mystic is one of these classes in Black Desert Online that it, it's not a burst class, but it's a DPS class. Or in other ways, nothing of Mystic Kit is there to suggest burst onto the PvE scene. What this means is that no matter what the class does, no matter how the class does, at no given point will she be able to really generate a substantial amount of bursting. That is purposely made. The class is designed to be a DPS throughput class. She's not there to burst tanky targets as fast as possible. She is really a high constant DPS class. But nowadays, there has been a shift into the meta everywhere, on every single spot. Burst is more valued than DPS, unless huge portions of AoE are considered into that scenario. So whenever you have this meta shift, you are prone to see Classes like Succession Mystic that are entirely DPS really fall behind. And unless the spot is quote unquote a long term DPS spot, Olum's Valley, Quint Hill, in some situations, even Hex Sanctuary, just in some then you're not really going to see Succession Mystic all over the place. Right now, Awakening is just blowing her out of the entire game. There is no reason for you to play Succession Mystic into the PvE scene when Awakening is so strong. We will not be talking too much about Awakening Mystic today outside of just drawing the comparison between both of the specializations, but let me tell you something about Suck Mystic. Our kit is incredibly overloaded. Let me just show you what I mean by this. So if you look at the entirety of the Mystic uh, talent tree, you're going to see that I'm locking almost every single flow, almost every single combo abilities that are um, inheritance and not inheritance of the Adamant time, uh, absolute death cloud from the Thunder Pound tree. You're going to see flow, death strike, savage fang. You're going to see the twist and collision flows being almost all of them locked out. Absolute rip crusher is a horrible ability. And in general, these abilities are in their in their entirety completely locked. We have other abilities that deal absolutely no damage, like our Prime Spender, Sea Burial. The damage of it is so bad to the point where if you can avoid using it and flip um, on, on its spot something like a Thunder Pound, then you should be using the Thunder Pound instead of the Prime Sea Burial. Even with the three shards, it's still less damage than a generator, which is absolutely ridiculous. So the class has been left right now into the state where half of our kit is locked because it doesn't work. We we kind of make do with the other pieces of our kit that are actually functioning. And we ourselves have managed to build this quote unquote working bubble of Succession Mystic in because of the massive effort that was put into actually pushing this to become the Mystic's playstyle, the main way of Mystic's playstyle, well, this is why we have Succession Mystic. So, let's just go through the entirety of the rant here that I want to do for two specific abilities. So, as I said, Sea Burial is one of the worst abilities onto the entire kit. In fact, Sea Burial's entire damage is so low to the point where people actively avoid it doesn't matter the critical hit rate on it being 50 percent doesn't matter that the accuracy rate is quite good on it it doesn't matter that it recovers hp super armor it's literally used in pve and pvp for one particular reason and that is to engage after that it's just pretty much a tool for mobility and it feels like it's quite counterintuitive for what the class's purpose is to have a spender be used as a non-spender and only to kind of either leash onto onto a target or to really just be used as a mobility the other part of this is that sea burial has one of the most important connections into the entirety 
of the specializations. The way C Braille interacts with Twisted Collision is one of the most beautiful things for Succession Mystic. It's such an important piece of, of, of a combo, especially into the PvP scene. This is one of the most used combos in PvP. Like this thing, it's just so good to see. It's 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 great. The fact that you can interlock two uh, two abilities that are not really functioning that well and make it viable because of the mobility aspect of it that definitely puts a lot of value into the pvp scene but still the abilities do absolutely no damage you're going to see these really be used for one purpose only and that is mobility so let's talk a little bit about the twist and collision in particular the uh Twisted Collision is this uppercut ability, it's uh, onto the Q key, then you have two types of flows, you have an evasion uh, debuff flow and you have a DP debuff flow. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to unlock these just so you guys see what the RMB instead are. The RMB is kind of widely regarded as useless, it really is widely regarded as useless. One of the things that really annoy me about all of this is that it it's one of the bread and butter about mystics one of the few things that really caught my eye when i was starting to play mystic was really the twist and collision combos the fact that you can really just go aerial and deal a lot of damage while being aerial it just it was super good to see but nowadays this entire thing is completely forsaken into the PvE scene. right now there is no argument to go aerial with twisted collision the only reason that we, are go that we are having Twist and Collision not locked is because on some spots you can actually abuse this to go into the, uh, high levels of terrain. And yeah, that's really the only reason for this. Not to mention that if you use your Twisted Collision, it elevates you further more. And if you want to use Sea Burial after the Twisted Collision, you're going to jump over your target. So it's not even worth using for, t uh, for, the, for the damage properties of it. So I really want to see one thing. Because of how Prime C Burial and Twisted Collision with Skyrammer the flow, which pretty much the heel kick into the ground, something like the Tsunade from Naruto, uh, specific kick if you guys watch that, it's, it's something that is so essential for the Mystic, yet it's so forsaken, to the point where I really want to see this thing really fixed. We're going to go into other abilities also as well, but for the time being, we really need a buff on Prime C Burial. C Burial, you can't have an ability sea burial that is a spender that in its spender status it's 12,000 uh, 1201 times 9 and meanwhile you have a five second cooldown ability called sweeping kick that both parts of the damage are exactly the same as a spender and the difference is pretty much this this here with three shards will deal as much as damage as oops as much as damage as this double hit here like with the two kicks and stuff it makes absolutely no sense that you would have a spender that you cannot use and you're only using it for mobility or <laughs> i mean it's really used for mobility the only time where sea burial is not used for mobility is when perhaps we're farming on olin's valley there's a shy there and there is no other button to press but sea burial so this is the only time where sea burial is really used for the purpose of damage outside of that it's totally worthless and if it's a spender then I don't think, I, I, if it's a spender, I just don't think it should be so weak. Not to mention that if you look at the damage here, uh, 1201 times 9, and we go into one of the more uh, underwhelming abilities, which is the next topic of conversation, Somersault, you're going to see that weird to have prime abilities that deal no damage, and then go into another prime ability like Somersault, which is supposed to be um, kind of a, a bread and butter into some of the combos of Mystic, and it's not being used because it has no crit rate on it. A prime ability with absolutely zero critical hit rate. Or in other words, this is the Somersault, this ability in particular. So nobody uses Somersault into the PvE scene outside of, for an example, let's just say a mob is left onto extremely low HP and it's just convenient to use it then. Into the PvP scene, Somersault has its uses, but still it's a very underwhelming ability to use. Uh, very few hits on it, and of course no critical hit rate. So onto the change list, which I really want to see is Prime Sea Burial being buffed uh, to deal more damage with the spender part of it. I want to see Absolute Twist Collision be turned into a Prime ability because one of the best ways to fix um, Absolute Twist Collision is by making it a Prime because it's going to enable all of the flows themselves because they are scaling off of Twisted Collision. 
So all of these flows are scaling with twist collision, not to mention that the landslide is twist collision damage times six, which is more than the base on its own. So this ability will actually deal quite, quite a lot of damage. And seeing such a small change really kind of fr uh, make the other flows bloom in fruition, like just because they're chained into one another, they're dependent on one another. I think it's the right direction to make absolute twisted uh, collision a prime ability and perhaps rework a little bit Skyrammer to be more uh, cursor oriented rather than just land in front of you. Something like the Strikers, uh, the Strikers version of Skyrammer where they can LMB and point into a direction and they charge towards it. I think it's going to be a better use for Skyrammer to be like that. But you know, I don't know. We'll we'll see we'll see how P P A react to this if they're even going to react to this. But still, let's talk about since we just uh, finished the somersault. Let's talk about all of these combos in adamantime and just martial dev recall slam bombardment. See, there is a little bit of use of these into the PvP scene, but they're really just a flex type of ability. Uh, unfortunately, adamantime. If you have learned the hurricane kick, adamantime can only be activated through the uh, hot bar. So only if I have it, let's say on two, can I add adamantime to my rotation. Not to mention that it's such a short. Uh, short-term damage ability and it's just absolutely not worth to use even in its absolute state it has a hundred percent crit rate sure like we can make an argument there but it's absolutely unnecessary the entirety of the adamantine thing we can just take this all off from the succession mystic literally delete these abilities just leave mass destruction because we do really depend on that ability and from then on mystic will be just flat out easier and it, she will not be overloaded so, yeah, Mystic is kind of lacking behind onto the damage department in general because of the meta being highly bursty. When the meta is burst, DPS classes are not really valued. And in general, we have a few abilities that needs buffing, just to go through uh, through them really quick. Prime C Burial I really needs to get buffed. Like, it, you can't have an ability that is a spender deal less damage than the entirety of your generators onto the... An entirety spec. Every single generator deals more damage than Prime Sea Burial. Like all generators, even even Tiger Claw deals more damage than that. Even um, uh, Prime Fist Fury in its entirety deals more damage than that. Yes, it takes more time to cast, but the fact that you can't do much uh, from Sea Burial to to extend the DPS purpose of the class, it still makes absolutely no sense. So, just to summarize the entirety of the Succession Mystic grant that I'm, having, that I'm having here, we have quite a few abilities that are just absolutely uh, useless. It's Prime Sea Burl, as we, as we spoke earlier, it needs to have more damage put onto the spender portion of it because it's an ability meant to be used as a spender to deal damage. Instead, everybody uses it simply for mobility or in some extremely uh, low scenario situations where there is nothing to press. Let's say that you mess up your rotation or that and you have to just fill a gap with this. It's a purposeless prime that has no weight over the entirety of the Mystic Kit and as a prime ability I think it should be. The next thing that I really wanted to talk about uh, was the Twisted Collision. I really believe the Twisted Collision should be introduced as a prime ability and the area of effect damages of all of these flows should be significantly increased with a potential increase um, of the utility behind Skyrammer, so that when I press Skyrammer, perhaps I can target where exactly do I want to land and face me into that direction, so that we can have a little bit more depth to the um, Twisted Collision utility aspect of it. After all, one of the coolest things about the Mystic combo is if you do Twisted Collision with Sea Burial and you can do Flow Landslide with a Skyrammer. It kind of looks like this, and it's such a cool combo to see, yet it's one of the most useless combos of Mystic. Yet, this was what she was advertised with onto the Succession trailers. So, from the get-go, it's not, I wouldn't call it false advertisement, but still, it's quite underwhelming when they advertise something to you that you're never going to use because it's useless. So with that being said, guys, uh, next thing is Prime Somersault. It needs 100% uh, crit rate. It, it just immediately needs 100% crit rate. It makes absolutely no sense for Prime Somersault to be as this. Uh, of course, Adamantime, the entirety of the Man Adamantime tree is absolutely useless, especially ever since the Hurricane Kick of the... Uh, of the of the Magnus quest chain was introduced. Also, perhaps it's worth mentioning the Hurricane Kick. Just remove the wind-up animation to it so that it can be chained better. 
I think that's going to be a lot, even though the damage of it is insane, like Hurricane Kick de deals actually absolutely insane damage, it is still quite underwhelming um, because you can't ignore the startup animation, there's no way to shorten it. And, uh, of course, talking about Adamantime, just remove the entirety of the Mantle Dream. There's no purpose on it in PvP, there's no purpose of it in PvE. Just leave low mass destruction, perhaps make a prime mass destruction as well, even though it, it wouldn't make any sense. But, last but not least, onto the skill add-ons, of course, we want to see a viable Tier 3. And I, as I said earlier into one of my videos that I did a couple of months ago, it would be very interesting to put Prime C Burl as a Tier 3 after buffing its damage, because it is going to be... A, I would say an astronomical increase in performance. It's going to put weight onto the ability, it's going to solidify the entirety of what Succession Mystic was advertised with. That is, imagine just going with uh, three points, go Twisted Collision, Sea Burial, Landslide, and all of a sudden this particular combo it just deals insane amounts of damage. It's going to be super cool to see this utility aspect be introduced as an offensive burst tool for <clears throat> for the mystic in terms of pvp just to mention a couple of things because i know people will be quite quite annoyed when they see a thumbnail suck mystic needs buff yes a 735 gear score succession mystic can be seen as too strong but is a 700 gear score mystic seen as, as too strong in rbf or an uncapped or anything like that no suck mystic is kind of a thing in tier one tier two she starts falling off in tier three in tier four she's irrelevant so it's like we're making an argument here that she is rocking one or two sets of pvp unconditionally and, and for the other she needs far too much gear to be made viable but nonetheless guys this is this is as much as i'll be uh, talking about this video let me just lock these entire things because i do not wish to use them and uh, yeah let's go this lock too all right and i'll see you soon i have a very cool video coming up next take care